Medically diagnosed irritable bowel syndrome, known as IBS, is difficult to treat and overcome, in part because we still don't understand its precise cause. However, researchers at Monash University have been studying the dietary factors in food that can trigger IBS symptoms. This research has shown that the pain, discomfort and daily disruption caused by IBS is triggered by certain types of carbohydrates in food called FODMAPs. Here we can see some examples of high FODMAP foods. To understand how some foods contribute to IBS symptoms, we need to look inside the intestines where food is broken down and absorbed Zooming in to the molecular surface of the intestinal cells, we see they are covered in molecular machines that accelerate the breakdown of carbohydrates. Most carbohydrates, once broken down, can be absorbed through pumps on the surface of your cells. However, some carbohydrates are not digested or absorbed by people. The rapidly fermentable short-chain carbohydrates that can't be absorbed are called FODMAPs. The presence of FODMAPs causes water to be dragged into the small intestine. Also, because they aren't absorbed, FODMAPs travel through your gut to the large intestine. When bacteria in your large intestine get access to FODMAPs, they use them for energy to survive. The bacteria rapidly ferment FODMAPs and produce gas as a result. Excess gas production and water retention causes the intestines to expand. When the intestinal wall stretches from distension, the highly connected nerves around the intestines send signals to the brain. People with IBS have very sensitive intestines, so these signals contribute to the pain they experience. To reduce FODMAP intake and to alleviate the distension, bloating and other symptoms of IBS, Monash University have developed the low FODMAP diet. People with medically diagnosed IBS should consult a dietitian about trialling the diet. The Monash University Low FODMAP Diet app has been developed as a tool to help people with IBS manage their diet and alleviate symptoms. Contact Monash University or visit the website to find out more about the Low FODMAP Diet.